What's poppin' YouTube? We back with another one. And it's the one and only Peso World, Peso Love and Sha. Sha Pesos, nigga. Whatever you wanna call me, nigga, I'm him. Just know that. And you know what we doing, you see the title of the video, nigga. You see the title of the video, you know what's going down. You know what's going down. You know what's going down. I got my Yik Filet. I got my Yik Filet, nigga. And this do I got some questions to answer today, boy. It's, it's that time. But yeah, I got I got some questions to answer today. Nice little muck. Nice little mukbang today, I ain't gonna lie. I'm feeling vibey to this tonight, actually. This is nighttime. I'm feeling vibey tonight. How you feeling? How, like, how are you feeling? Like, I know you watching. It's like, what's going on right now emotionally? You know what I'm saying? Are you okay? Mmm. The green straw, right? I know. They only give that shit to certain niggas. I guess I'm certain niggas. You know what I'm saying? I know you never had that shit before. Listen, I got a deluxe, right? Why the fuck they put it in a bag? Why would you put a deluxe meal in the bag? It comes in a box. And I got bacon on my shit. That should be another reason it comes in a box. They wildin'. These niggas is bugging. They bugging out. Bugging out. Hmm. Hold on. Let us pray. Five minutes later. I ain't gonna lie. Unpopular opinion. Chick-fil-A fries with no sauce is fake weak. Shit's trash. Worth everything. And if you ain't eating Chick-fil-A and Polynesian sauce, you shouldn't be eating that Chick-fil-A. What the fuck are you getting anything else other than that for? There should be no reason. No reason at all. First question, before I even dip my food in any sauce, first question, how tall am I? I'm 6'2", bro. Ain't nothing too spectacular about my height, I'm 6'2". There's a lot of six foot niggas in the world. But I'm different. Where I'm from. Where you think I'm from? Where you think I'm from, nigga? Yeah, that's where I'm from. What the fuck? <clears throat> Why did I start YouTube? Mmm. That's a pretty good damn question. I'm gonna tell you the reason I started this shit. So look, my main goal, my main goal, right? Our main goal is to be an actor. I wanna be, I wanna act. I wanna be in films, TV shows, all types of wild shit. And I feel like YouTube is a perfect platform to display. Hmm. My ability to act and perform. I'm a performer. Like, you get what I'm saying? I can burst out crying right now if I wanted to. Like, that's another time. But, so, yeah, that's, but I really, I'm really just trying to show the world that I'm dead ass an entertainer type shit. But not just the act, acting aspect. I really want to be entertained. Like, I feel like I could be a great entertainer, a great influencer. You get what I'm saying? I feel like, shit. I feel like I'm a pretty funny guy. I know how to make people laugh, you know what I'm saying? Do my thing, and I feel like I'm a creative motherfucker as well. And YouTube definitely lets me exercise my creativity. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, basically for fun. Better my life and get to where I want to be. Next question. Next caller! Where do I see myself in 10 years? Fucking your <laughs> Fucking your nigga. <laughs> that's exactly where. That's exactly where I see myself, nigga. But yeah. Uh, where do I see myself in 10 years? Hmm. Let me see. I would say probably living in somewhere. Somewhere far. Probably not in the United States. Probably be outside, outside of America type shit. Living somewhere cool and sitting on millions of dollars, like close to billionaire status type shit. Ten years from now, I'm gonna be thirty. Damn. 
shit, I'm gonna be 30. Fuck. Now, hold on. That shit sounds crazy. Damn. Next question. I should tweak me just now. Next question, man. Is love free? Hell no. Love is not free. Absolutely not. 100% costly, nigga. It's not even costly. Love is expensive, nigga. Not does love only drain you financially. Love will drain you emotionally, spiritually, physically. Go on. All around, bro. Love will fuck you up. What 50 said in that movie? I think he said, love will get you killed. He ain't fucking lying. Oh. Love is not free at all. Actually expensive, nigga. The fuck? Ah, next question. What is your relationship status? Wow. That's a big question. I'm not married, so I'm single, right? What? If not, then you're single. Right. If you file a job application, it should say marital status. It don't say boyfriend, girlfriend. It say single to married. I'm single. So, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, like, being single is lit. Like, being single, like, as a, not even just so you can hold freely type shit, like, that's, <clears throat> that's not my body. Never, never a hold, but, like, working on yourself and being single and, like, just doing whatever the fuck you want, really free, without anybody clocking you type shit, knowing where you at, you don't gotta really call on nobody like that, you ain't gotta, you know what I'm saying, it's just you. When you out of a relationship, nigga, it's really just you. You have fun by yourself, nigga. You, you turn the fuck up. But a relationship will really trap you in. You sitting here, you got this girl calling you 3 o'clock in the morning, talking about she had a dream about you cheating. What? Now she crying. Now she really thinking you cheating in person. Now not. You know what I'm saying? It's just little shit like that. You don't have to deal with, bro. You don't gotta deal with none of that. None of that stupid shit when you're single. You don't gotta worry about if you're short again. Sucking, sucking with joint, joint. Doing whatever with this such a nigga. You ain't, you're free, you peace of mind. That's what being single does give you a peace of mind, nigga. A peace of mind. Literally. You ain't gotta worry about shit. I ain't worry about nothing. I don't want to run on. Nigga, I don't want to run on. I don't want to. Mm. Mm. Like, real shit. Being in a relationship has its perks. I can't take that away. At all. Like, the loving of a female, bro. Unmatched, bro. Like, you really feel some. Some real deep, genuine love from a. How the woman, bro? You like, damn. How you doing that? <laughs> the way you just doing that is, oh my god! Oh my god! What? Relationships drain people all the time, so that's why I feel like I'm seeing right now. I'm working on myself. I gotta get to the top. I can't take care of no way right now. I gotta take care of me. And then when I'm there, you know, I'm probably going to be married really, really soon. <laughs> I'm probably going to be married really, really soon because I don't think the next girlfriend I get, it, it has to be my wife. I don't think I'm going to go through another iffy face. I don't, I don't think that's me. I'm not going to go through a little iffy face. I'm, the next girlfriend I get is, will be my wife. Mark my words, she will be my wife. Fact. Fact.
fact, bro. I want to stay on this topic right here. I ain't gonna lie, I like this topic. Real shit, like, for all the niggas that's heartbroken right now, going through relationship trauma with a shorty, or the females that's out there heartbroken, depressed about some nigga, going through the red hair face, get over that shit. I ain't gonna lie, being sad will do nothing. Being sad about that shit will do nothing, nigga. You gotta go out, go improve yourself, nigga. You gotta better yourself, better your bank account, nigga. Better your wealth and better the health, nigga. Fuck that, nigga. And fuck that shorty, nigga. Dealing with that shit in your head ain't gonna do shit. But if you put your foot down, nigga, and go get some bread, she gonna come right back, nigga. And more. See, that's the thing. You don't even gotta be a girl tight no more. All you gotta do is have bread. Nigga, you four feet, you have money, you have any woman you want, nigga. Any woman you want, nigga. You got your confidence right, you got your bread right, you know how to talk, nigga. You're Gucci. You Gucci. Even if you illiterate, bro, and you got money, you still Gucci, bro. I don't think, I don't think a woman... I honestly don't think a woman wouldn't settle for a nigga who couldn't read but had a billion dollars, bro. I promise you that. I promise you that. A nigga can't read. Listen, listen, listen. He can't read. The nigga can't even use his phone correctly because he can't read, right? Everything strictly voice calls for this nigga, but he is a billionaire. You telling me, you right now as a female... You not going to talk to that nigga, bro? You telling me a girl's not going to talk to a billionaire the nigga know how to read? They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Oh, this nigga has a billion dollars? Oh, yeah. I want him. See the way society is, bro? That's a shame. That's a shame. And that's a true fact, bro. Nobody will ever take that from me. That a, a female won't date or vice versa. A... <laughs> I know damn well a nigga gonna get a bitch if she can't read. <laughs> a billion? Yo, why niggas is quick? I ain't gonna lie, niggas is horrible, bro. That's a fact, bro. Anybody's taking that and they can't read, but like that just goes to show you how much wealth does to the human mind. It dilutes our brain. <laughs> More of the story, go get your money up and you can do anything you want. Money buys you freedom, not happiness. For a fact. But, I'm done my fool. That's what I mean, I'm done with this video. And then that mean I'm about to get the fuck up out of him. You know what time it is? It's Sunday, 12 o'clock, nigga. Raising Canaan is on. Raising Canaan episode two is on. Matter of fact. So I'm gonna wrap, I'm gonna wrap it up and go, Tune into that. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification button, please. Do that for me. Matter of fact, to say this goodbye, I'ma throw the, I'ma throw the shades on. Let me, let me clean my hands with it on. Yo, y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe. Please stay safe. Protect the ones that love you. Love the ones that love you back. What? Love the ones that love you back? Love the people that love you. Take care of those that take care of you. Amen and shop pesos is out of here.